Today we're talking about functions. Uh, we use these pretty frequently in calculus. All right, so for part A, it says state the value. Over here we got our graph. First, let me explain to you. You got a graph. We've got our x-axis down here, which uh, runs horizontally. And you got your y-axis right here that runs vertically. Um, this is the function right here. So it says state the value of f of 1 or the function of 1. Well first what we're going to need to know is um, f of x. Okay so what is f of x? f of x is the function of x um, or you could rewrite, rewrite it as y. So f of x equals y. Alright, so when you do this, so put f of 1, all you have to do is find where that x value is equal to 1 and then find the corresponding y value. So you've got uh, right here, you've got your x value and it's 1 and then you find the corresponding y value up here which is 3. So that is going to be 3. It says estimate the values of f a negative one so it's the same thing so you find your x value down here you've got your negative one and you come up till you hit the corresponding y value and it looks like it's going to be about an, a negative 0 0.2 so because here's the y values so right here negative 0 0.2 negative 0 0.2 now for what values of x is f of x equal to 1 so we know f of x is y and so when you say y equals 1 you've got to find where y is equal to 1 so here's y here's 1 so there's two areas there's going to be two areas where y is equal to 1 you've got right here y is equal to 1 and right here y is equal to 1 now for this problem it says what values of x so we come down here here are x values down here and so the first one is going to be 0 and the second one is going to be 3 so you got 0 and 3 All right. now it says estimate the value of x such that f of x equals 0 now remember um, for f of x you can just say that y is equal to 0 it's the same thing the function of x is equal to y so where does y equal 0 right here here's your y axis y is equal to 0 right here and it corresponds with what x counterpart about a negative 0 0.8 so right here so here's 0 here's 1 here's negative 1 what's this it's going to be a negative negative 0 0.8 now it says state the domain and range of f alright so we got domain and range what is that the domain are going to be your x values and simply put this is going to be what's on the horizontal line so right down here this is your domain and your range are going to be your y values and this is going to be all the values associated with this vertical so how we find this is uh, we start off with our x values and uh, we find the further most point on the left side which would be right here which is a negative 2 so we got uh, we got a negative 2 and then you find your furthest most point to the right which is right here which is going to be 4 4 now the reason why I put these brackets is because um, you know that they are uh, basically absolute numbers and 
they're not imaginary, they're real, they're, they're there. Anyways, uh, for your y values, you've got, hang on. okay, so for your y values, it's going to be the further, furthermost point at the top, but you always, uh, always start with the bottom, so you got the furthermost point from the bottom right here is going to be a negative 1. So that's going to be a negative 1. And then your highest point is your 3. So you got your lowest point and your highest point. So you got negative 1 and 3. Okay. And so that is the answer for E. So you got negative 2 and a 4. That's your domain. And then your range, negative 1 and 3. Alright, now on what interval is F increasing? Now, as you can see, it starts increasing right here. And it increases, increases, still increasing, all the way up to about right here where it begins to decrease. Now for intervals, we're going to use our x values, okay? So it starts increasing. Now I know it might be tempting to use your y because you go, well, it's increasing from negative 1 to 3. Well, that's correct, but uh, for the lingo, we're going to use our x values. So we're going to say it's increasing from negative 2 to 1. And so when you write that, it's going to be negative two to one. And these are your x values. Those are both x values. And that is uh, pretty much just the basics of how functions work. And uh, you'll see a lot more of this later on. Hope that helped.